Welcome to the second chapter of the Tanstack Router series. Today we're gonna see how you can use pad parameters. For example, if you want to use Pokemons, they a common example, and you want a single page for each Pokemon, you cannot have a dozen thousands routes, but you want dynamic routes reading the ID and fetching the data. And that's what we're gonna do today. The first thing we're gonna do is to create a new route here under Pokemon slash dollar ID.tsx and dollar is our special character defining that this is a path parameter. If you open the terminal and we run again npm run dev, we will see that this gets automatically generated. And if I go on this route and I say hello, well, here we can only read dollar ID. But how can I get this hello here and put it instead of the ID? Well, that's the first thing we're gonna do. First of all, let's move this in a separate function called Pokemon. Here we can instead return this one. So component takes Pokemon and we return our text. Now, what we can do here is that after defining this root, well, we can use it inside the Pokemon function. For example, root.params is exactly the hook we need. Now I can define an object here. And what are you gonna expect to see here inside the curly brackets? Instead of getting an object with any, here I can already see that there's an ID called this way. And this is our ID, but obviously if this had a different name, well, here we had exactly the name that we defined here and that we matched there. If we navigate back on our page, Pokemon hello, and if I type one, two, three, Pokemon one, two, three. But now what if I want to do something else even before getting the ID? For example, getting my data before the root loads. Let's see how you can use the loader function here on Tanstack Router. Let me quickly create here API slash Pokemon so I can grab some data from the super common Poké API. And this get Pokemon function, I can actually use it here on the loader. Since it lets me define an async function, which takes some params. And here you see that again, params has an ID, which is the one I can use. So get Pokemon passing params.id. I need to await this and import it from here. And now, similarly to what we did for use params, I can do again root dot use loader data and the loader data is our Pokemon. You can find it in a second. I can console log it. If now I go back to our page, well, I can open the terminal. I can refresh the page and there it is. This is our Pokemon grabbed from the root loader directly to our component. Now, yeah, you'll see it twice here, but simply because there's strict mode here. So back to our component, if we change the code a little bit to add some more HTML code here and we go back to our page, well, it's already here. You can see that if I change the Pokemon ID, a new Pokemon gets loaded. But now you might have a question. We saw here that in the URL, you cannot select a number. I cannot point to Charizard with the number six. So how does it work? Let's go back to our route and let's take this example. Here I want to go to Pokemons and it auto completes. I can make this simpler. Let's say I only want Charizard. And how can I do that? We say that putting the number six here doesn't work. I can get back with ID and we see that the error is no longer on two but now goes on link. And the reason is that I specified an URL with a path parameter, which forces me to also use params here. And here, guess what? I can see that it already suggests me to use ID. So here I can say, for example, the string six. And now if I go back to our navigation, home, profile, and Charizard. So how we can make this dynamic? And I mean, going back here and adding only a link to the Pokemon. Well, let's begin by creating a new root here inside Pokemon, which will be obviously index.tsx. And with this one, if we save, we have the root already prepared. And here I can finally link to only Pokemon. So I can get rid of the param. We're not gonna need it. And rename this to 
Talking mods. Now let me paste some more horrible code here. Everything you should be interested in is that we have a function that calls Pokemon list. Now if we go back there, we can do something similar on what we did previously. So I can create a function called Pokemon list without parameters, which returns something for now. This can be replaced by Pokemon list and I can use our loader passing it directly get Pokemon list, which is our async function, as long as I import it from the other file. Now let's make this super easy. So here I can say I want our Pokemons and well, let's make it really simple. Everything I want to show you is how the router works. So I can now have a list with items and here, well, first of all, I need to import the Pokemons. So thank you, Copilot, this is right. And here I can map through our Pokemons. I can grab one and I can return a list element with inside a link element to that specific Pokemon. So the suggestion here is not quite right because we're not going to Pokemon ED, but instead we're gonna go on Pokemon $ID. And here what we just saw was passing params and ID taking Pokemon.id. We might need to add a key here with uh, Pokemon.id. And if I refresh the page, you can see Squirtle, you can see Charmander, and basically all the Pokemons are directly linked from here. And this was as simple as adding a parameter here. And this is safe because we know that this root has an ID parameter. And we don't have to guess and pass whatever we want. To wrap up, using path parameters is really easy, but they come with a defined origin structure. If I want Pokemon slash ID, there's the only parameter I can pass. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes you need way more flexibility, and the answer in that case is not path parameters, but query parameters. Guess what? You're lucky, as this is exactly the topic of the next video in the series about Tanstack Router. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will know when it will be out. And with that said, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!